tried replacing the in link i thought that was going to cure the knocking problem that i was having in my rear end it didn't so um after doing some troubleshooting thanks to the monster speed 3 community i think i figured out what it is that i need to replace now if you remember when i put the rear sway bar on this car that i got it used and i just assumed that everything was okay and bolted it onto the car and then shortly after that i noticed that i started hearing a knocking sound in the rear end and i went back and i double checked everything i torqued and retorqued everything i did have a bad end link that did get replaced but the noise still persisted and thanks to slow ms3 on instagram he brought it to my attention that i probably needed to check the bushings for my sway bar and that is what i ordered so i contacted jbr ordered up another set of rear sway bar bushings and so now i'm going to jack the car up swap those out and see if it makes a difference i really hope it makes a difference because i do remember before i installed that rear sway bar i had no noises in the rear end of the car so hopefully i have through process of elimination found the issue and this fixes it so cross your fingers project update got the rear sway bar out and for those of you who may not know this is a jbr 125 rear sway bar um, i did buy it used it came with the uh, billet aluminum uh, sway bar bushings uh, brackets and it came with the bushings but when i got them i did not think about uh, checking to see if the rear sway bar bushings were shot and as you can see these got a lot of grime in them um, I really didn't even clean it when I got it I just put it on the car because I had new part excitement but uh, I'm going to now remove these uh, billet sway bar brackets and take a look at these bushings and when I get one of them off I will show it to you guys and I'll compare it this one to a new one and I'm thinking that these might be shot uh, because I did not know the mileage that was on them so uh, I'm hoping that this is going to fix this I went ahead and got the brackets off and these are the old uh, sway bar bushings compared to the new one and um, as you can see these are much different. These have these look <laughs> these look ragged. Um, they're not as thick. And um, one of the things that's concerning me right now is uh, it looks like there were various different greases that were used on this. It's got some kind of red grease on it now. Um, I do not use. Uh, red grease. I actually use uh, a different kind of grease. It's a different color completely. And when I took these apart, I also noticed that on the interior of this bracket, it looks like that maybe something dried in the fitting because the grease that I used, I can see that it's like on the outside, like it got squeezed out, but it was not actually on the inside of this bracket. And there's definitely none on the inside of these bushings. So I'm now realizing that when I installed it and I greased everything up, the grease that I was using was not even making it in here. And so I'm thinking that whatever grease that was like hardened or something and made it to where uh, the grease wasn't even getting inside the bushing. So chances are, and I don't know the mileage that are on these, that these are probably shot. I'm just gonna call them shot. And they were under grease, they wore out. You can see in here that there are wear marks um, from where whatever grease that was in there has dried out long ago. And that is probably the cause of the issues that I'm having. So I am gonna replace these obviously. And then as well, I'm gonna put some new fittings, some new uh, grease fittings in these and remove another potential headache because it looks like these are all caked up. This one looks like it's caked up. Um, this one does as well. So 
I'm going to go ahead and get started cleaning those and then we'll pick this back up after I've made those small changes. I went ahead, cleaned these out completely. Both of them were caked up with that old grease. It was red, I don't know what it was, but uh, it had dried up and it dried into the grease fittings. So even though I greased this before I put it on the car, there was no grease in there whatsoever. So now all these are clean, new bushings are in. Um, I put these new 45 degree grease fittings on just to make it easier for me to be able to grease this when I get it back onto the car. So that is the next step. I went ahead and put the new bushings on the sway bar. I've reinstalled the sway bar. I have taken the car for a spin. It still makes the noise, but there has been an interesting development. And that is when I came back, um, I noticed when I rolled into the garage, I could hear it, you know, knocking when I just went over the little rise to get into my garage. And then when I had it in here, I pushed down on this side of the car and you can hear it. And so I'm gonna see if I can catch it on the recording so you guys can, can either hear or actually see what's going on. But basically I'm gonna set this on the ground. When I push on the side of the car, you can hear it. And from the way that sounds, it sounds like it's something to do with the rear shock. I'm going to jack the car up tomorrow, take the wheel off, double check everything on that side. And I think I might have finally found my culprit. Fingers crossed. What's up everybody? It is a couple of days later and I'm going to give you guys a follow up to the video I did previously when I put the new sway bar bushings on and redid the sway bar. And towards the end of that video, uh, I told you guys I heard a clunk when I pulled the car out of the driveway. And the deal about that is um, I was at the back of the car, I was pushing down on it and I could hear it clunk pretty well and the culprit that I found out that was causing the clunk was that the locking collars on my coilover in the back were not tight and I pulled and I yanked on everything and it just so happened that when I grabbed uh, the rear coilover and I shook it I could feel that it was a little bit loose, so I got my wrenches out and I tightened down those locking rings and the noise went away. And I will show you guys here in a second. I'll put the camera down and then I will push on the bottom of the car and of course you cannot hear the noise anymore. Not that, you know, whatever. Another thing I did was, after I discovered that, I went ahead, jacked the car up, and tightened all of the locking collars on my suspension. There is now no noises whatsoever. Um, I've driven the car for a couple of days, and it is silent. I'm not hearing any more knocking and everything, so that is good. I finally figured that out. But to kind of pass along some information to you guys, when you're troubleshooting, trying to find these noises, um, the best thing you can do is, one, push down on the car and see if you can try to isolate the noise. A lot of the time, when you hear noises in your suspension, especially on these Speed 3s, it's probably going to be worn in links. Um, that would be the first place I would check. Then I would double check and make sure that all of the bolts to my suspension are nicely torqued and everything's tight. Um, if you push down on a corner and you hear a noise, that helps you kind of isolate it to where it is. If you are hearing a knocking noise, take a rubber mallet, jack the car up, and just kind of lightly tap on everything and see if you can get it to make a noise. If you're hearing like a knocking sound, and especially over bumps, chances are that you have a blown shock. So that would be another thing um, that you could troubleshoot and check into. I knew it was going to be something that had to be tightened. Like I said, my suspension's not that old. Um, the sway bar in link, that one did go bad, but those were fairly new. Um, and I made sure to tighten and torque everything down to spec every time that I work on something. So 
just by process of elimination, you should be able to track down the noises and fix your car. Hopefully you won't burn through as much money as I did. Um, but the things I replaced, like those sway bar bushings, those were shot and they need to be replaced anyway. So it was a good time to get under there and take those out, re-grease everything, put the car back together and so forth. And especially on the front end, my front end links were completely toast as well. So taking the opportunity to swap those out and get those changed out, it was a good idea as well. So after this long lengthy process, I hope you guys have learned something and can start troubleshooting your own vehicles and find out all those little knocks and noises that have been driving you insane. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as smash subscribe so you won't miss any of the videos when they come out. Um, the next project I will be working on probably won't be Speed 3 related. It might be something Miata related. We're getting late in the season here um, where I live and the temperature's starting to drop. So I am trying to get some other projects out of the way before I start on my winter projects. But if there's a change of plan and something else pops up, you know I will always keep you guys in the loop. So I am going to go. I have a couple things that I'm working on. So I gotta get those done. And I hope you all are having a good day. And I will see you guys on the next one. Noise free. Woo!